Merry Christmas, Joyeux Noël in French. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas to all of you who are listening to Pray Every Day. This is Mary Demuth, and as I said before, it's Pray Every Day where I pray you through scriptures verse by verse. And today on Christmas, I just first want to say, wow, good job for listening to a prayer on Christmas Day. That's cool. I know you have a really busy day ahead of you, but I am humbled that you're spending a little tiny snippet of that time with me. So thank you for that. We're going to read kind of a... Um, a different verse, uh, some verses from Psalm 72, 1 through 11. But I just think this typifies the beauty of Jesus. And um, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to read it to you in the Amplified Version. Give the King knowledge of your judgments, O God, and the spirit of your righteousness to the King's Son to guide all his ways. May he judge your people with righteousness and your afflicted ones with justice. The mountains will, be pr- will bring peace and prosperity to the people, and the hills in the establishment of righteousness. May he bring justice to the poor among the people, save the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. Let them fear you with awe-inspired reverence and worship you with obedience while the sun endures. And as long as the moon reflects light throughout all generations, may he come down like rain on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days may the righteous flourish and peace abound until the moon is no more. May he also rule from sea to sea and from the river Euphrates to the ends of the earth. The nomads of the desert will bow before him and his enemies will lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the islands will bring offerings. The kings of Sheba and Seba will offer gifts. Yes, all kings will bow down before him. All nations will serve him. Mind if I pray for you today? Lord, what a beautiful scripture. And so much of this is about Jesus. And at the very end, it says all kings will bow down before him and all nations will serve him. And that is the gospel. You did not come for one nation, but for all nations. And this also in verse 10 hints at the Magi. The kings of Sheba and Seba will offer gifts. And we see how that happens later in the the, um, birthing narrative. Actually, it's after the birth of Christ and uh, much later, actually, that the that the Magi come and offer those gifts. And so, Lord, we pray on this Christmas Day 2018, we pray for peace in our crazy world. We pray for restraint in the way that we treat each other. In other words, let us not crucify one another with our words this year and help us to build one another, to encourage each other, to build those who are downtrodden. Thank you for these verses that um, Jesus is going to bring justice to the poor among the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but you have come, Jesus, to give us life and to give it to us abundantly. And so I pray abundance over the folks listening to this prayer today. I pray abundance and blessing and uh, generosity and um, a whole heart and healing from the past. Lord, that 2019 would be a year of jubilee. It would be a year of abundance. It would be a year of giving out from what we've already received instead of feeling like we've given everything we can and we've been spent. Lord, as we um, as we rush or as we limp to the end of this year, I pray that uh, we would renew our vigor to follow you. And again, I cannot do it on my own. I cannot conjure up a relationship with you. I need you. I need your strength. I need the power of the Holy Spirit within me. And so I pray for that that for myself and I pray that for those who are listening today. We need your rain to come down on the mown grass like showers that water the earth. I pray for my friend today that her days and his days would flourish, that they would be righteous and that they would flourish and that peace would abound. Lord, I pray um, that this year would be a year of bowing down, of relinquishment of our own control and um, really believing you for bigger things in the coming year ahead. 
We want to trust you. We want to follow you. We want to believe you. We want to receive from you. We want to experience new healing, new growth, new life. And thank you that you never give up on us. That is such a good promise. And I thank you for that in Jesus name. Amen. Merry Christmas. And thank you so much for listening to pray every day. You are a blessing to me.